Hey Mark, do you want to talk a little bit about Darlington? What about it? We just submitted our uh, request to participate as interveners in the hearing for Darlington. So maybe if you want to talk a little bit about the process and what our concerns are. Well, the decision of the government to go ahead, potentially go ahead with building Darlington, is the biggest gamble Ontario's probably ever made with money, with our environment, and with our drinking water. And I think, you know, when you make a gamble of that sort with Ontario's, with other people's money and resources, um, the people who are going to have to pay if it, the gamble doesn't work out should be there at the table um, looking over the risks. So Lake Ontario Waterkeeper and I hope a lot of other participants in Ontario come to the table and see what the other alternatives are to Darlington, sun, wind, um, natural gas, water, and um, assess this gamble and whether or not the risks are worth it and uh, if there'll be a payoff. Because if this goes wrong, um, and there's a great chance it can go wrong, it has gone wrong in the past with our money and building the original Darlington plant and the Bruce plant and the Pickering plant. And if it goes wrong and the plant leaks into our drinking water or um, air emissions get into the people's um, food, into our water, and affect our communities, um, and you weren't at the table when they made this gamble with your money, um, you'll regret it. And so um, everyone should be there um, making sure that someone who's gambling with our money with our environment is doing it appropriately because um, this is um, one of the most important decisions Ontario will make in the next 50 years. Uh, what about in terms of environmental impacts and impacts specifically on Lake Ontario? Can you talk a little bit more about our concerns there? Well, nuclear power plants are some of the biggest industrial facilities ever built. Um, they contain and um, generate incredible amounts of waste, all kinds of waste, radioactive waste, but other waste as well, metals, um, oils, um, the cooling water um, to cool these plants down, taking great amounts of drinking water, um, which also contain fish, and they discharge that water back out with the pollutants and the contaminants in it. So um, this is one of you know, the biggest threats of pollution of the Great Lakes um, that we know of, and everyone has to agree with that. And so when you're um, you know, creating, manufacturing, building something that has that greater risk to a water body like Ontario, like, like Ontario that's drinking water for over 6 million people with no alternative supply available, um, you want to do it very carefully. You want to make sure that all the terms and conditions are in place and all the safety precautions are in place so that there isn't an accident. And, um, that's why we're participating in this process. And I think, um, you know, I, again, I just have to stress that this is a huge gamble on the part of the government with the people's money and with the people's environment and with their future. And, um, you know, if they're going to make that gamble and, and the benefits really are just to one industry, to the nuclear industry, and they're betting that the nuclear industry is a better gamble than other forms of energy production from sun and water and solar natural gas, um, you know, they need someone to watch over what they're doing. Um, I'm really concerned that this is a really bad gamble. History uh, supports my position. And uh, the risks and threats to our environment are just, you know, make this um, a really bad, um, a really bad gamble. And so I hope that by the community getting together and being at the table and looking at what's happening here, you know, others will agree and we'll find alternatives or better bets for Ontario to protect our community than this one.